Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install voice chat on your Minecraft server. This will work for both Forge and Fabric, and I'm going to show you how to do it on both of them. So first, let's start with Forge. So first of all, make sure you do have Forge installed in your server. If you don't have this done or you're not sure how to get it done, then we do have a video on how to install Forge onto your server. Or if you do have Pebblehost Premium, you can go ahead and click on the dry and pre-install menu, click yes I'm sure, go to other pre-installs and you can see there is loads and loads of Forge. And there is also them for Fabric. Okay, so now that you have Forge installed, we want to go ahead and go to the simple voice chat Curse Forge page. There'll be a link to this in the description. Once you're on this page, you want to go to Files, and if you scroll down, you can see Recent Files. So if we are doing it for 1.17.1, we can see right here Fabric 1.17.1, and also Forge 1.17.1. We're going to go do Forge, so we're going to click the download symbol on Forge. It will then take you here, where it will start downloading after 5 seconds. As you see, it's started downloading. You want to click Keep, but I'm going to click Discard as I already have it. As you can see on my downloads, I already have Forge right here. You also do want to make sure that your client is also running Forge. We want to go back to our server and go to File Manager on the left. It may say Leave Site, which you just click Leave. And now we're going to click Upload and File. And as you can see, it's opened my downloads and we'll make sure we install the Voice Chat Forge 1.17.1. So we're going to click on it and click Open. As you can see, it is now uploaded to the mods folder. We can now go ahead and restart our server. So now that it's installed on our server, we need to go ahead and install it on our client. To do that, we need to go to the search bar and type percent app data percent, just like that. And then press enter, and it should take us into the app data roaming folder. We then want to go into .minecraft, and then to the mods folder. If the mods folder is not there, make sure you have run Forge at least once already. We then want to go into the mods folder, and then you can right-click on File Explorer, and open a new one, and then go to Downloads, and then find your voice chat. So voice chat Forge, here we go, drag it right in, there we go. So it's now installed on our client. So now, the last thing we have to do is change the port so it will all work. You need to go to File Manager on the left, then first you want to go to the folder with your world name, for example mine is literally just world. And then you want to go to server config. And then you want to click on voice chat server.toml. Then if you read through here, you can see there is a port. You want to replace this port with your own server's port. If you don't know what your own server's port is, I'm going to show you how to get it. So first, you want to just go to your Pebble host and go to your server. Then if you scroll down to your IP, you should see these numbers. And then there'll be a colon and then five more numbers after it. You want to then copy these five numbers. And then go back here and replace the port just like that. And then you want to click save. And then once again, go ahead and restart your server. So it is now fully installed voice chat onto our Forge Minecraft server. Just skip ahead to this time, it will be a chapter on the video and you can see me using it, and also how to use it. Alright, so I'm now going to show you how to download it on Fabric. So once again, we're going to change our pre-install to Fabric 1.17.1. We're going to click save, and then run the pre-install. Once again, we do have a video on how to install Fabric onto your server, so go ahead and go to that video, and it will show you how to install it. Alright, so now that we have Fabric installed, we're going to go to the file manager on the left. You then want to go to the mods folder. And if you haven't installed Simple Voice Chat already, go back to Simple Voice Chat and download the Fabric version right here. Click download. Wait five seconds for it to begin. And after this five seconds is up, it will start downloading. You need to click keep, but I'm going to click discard as I already have it downloaded. You're also going to need the Fabric API. Which once again, if you go to files, you can just go ahead and click download right here. Then if we go back to our mods folder, we can go ahead and click upload, file, and then install our voice chat fabric and also our fabric API. And then we can go back and restart our server. Right, so it's now installed to our server. We can go ahead and install it to our client. 
So to do this, go to your Windows search bar, type percent app data percent, go to the folder, and then click on dot Minecraft. Once you're in dot Minecraft, you should find a mods folder right here. You then want to go into the mods folder, and then you want to right click on File Explorer at the bottom, and click File Explorer once again. This will open up a new tab. Then if you go to Downloads, select the Fabric API and also the Voice Chat Fabric 1.17.1. You then want to drag them in to the Mods folder. Then you can close these and then you're done. You've now installed it into your client for Fabric. And now you do need to change the port, which we're going to go ahead and do now. You want to go ahead and click File Manager on the left. You then want to click the Config folder. You then want to click Voice Chat. And there you go, Voice Chat Server Properties. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, there is a port on line 7 right here. We're going to replace this port with our own server's port. If you don't know how to do this, I'm going to show you right now. So you want to go to your main server page. And as you can see on the IP, there is a list of numbers. And then there is a colon splitting them. And then five numbers after the colon. You want to copy these last five numbers. Go back to the config file and replace the old port with your port. You then want to click save. Then you want to go ahead and restart your server. All right, so we've now joined our server with the mod installed, and I'm gonna show you how it works, also how to configure it. So first of all, I'm gonna prove that it does work by showing you. All right, so I'm now gonna get a far to speak some words. Just go ahead and say anything. Make sure to like the video. So as you saw, there was a voice chat symbol next to his name, and you could also see who was talking. So I'm now going to show you the proximity, which means the further you are away from them, the quieter it gets. So I'll go ahead and talk at this volume. This is what I sound like when you're close to a player. Um, and as you move further away, then it gets quieter, as what happens in real life. So as you can see, it become quieter and quieter. Um... And as you can tell... I can no longer hear him because I'm too far away. You can also change the volume of certain players by pressing V on your keyboard. You can then go to settings and adjust player volumes. And as you can see, we can adjust the volume of a far. So his amplication 0% is the normal volume that he will normally be. If we make it quieter, he will be quieter. And if we make it louder, obviously he'll be louder. So then let's make it minus 65%. So he should be a lot quieter. I should now be quieter. And now we're going to turn him up to 200%. And now he should be louder. And now I should be louder. And there we go. We can see that completely works. Also, if they cannot hear you, you can configure some settings. So you can go to select microphone and make sure that your microphone is selected. For example, my microphone is the microphone 5 by microphone. Or you can leave it a primary sound capture device as that will use your default sound capturing device. If it's coming out of your speakers, for example, instead of your headphones, you can also select select speaker. And for example, these are my headphones. And then that's my monitor. That's my other monitor. And those are my speakers. So you can select where the audio is coming out from. This won't affect your Minecraft audio. It will only affect the voice chat. If you are too quiet, you can also turn up your microphone by just sliding this slider. Once again, at 0%, it's your normal volume, and if you go higher, it's louder, and if you go lower, it's obviously quieter. You can also turn up everyone as a whole if you just turn up this. This will turn up everyone's voice chat, but not yours, and also you can turn it down. You can also click Enable Microphone Testing, and as you can see, it is now testing my microphone, and I can see how loud it is. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. Thanks to Afar for helping me out. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.